sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart, I have surprised and shocked myself. When uh, Igwe Joseph confided in me that uh, Dorothy abandoned Matilda, which was just barely three months old, and ran off to marry Rufus. <laughs> anyway, I am coming with them to Asaba in less than no time. Uh, Igwe Joseph is uh, eager to see his daughter, whose circumstances have separated him from for a long time now. Actually, I'm driving back to my hotel suite to catch up some sleep. I'm so tired, I will call you back later. Alright, love you. Bye. As it they go, all the places it they go, they go so out the way, I like you, go so where you go, remember say, nobody do pass on, so make you do good on, uh -huh. do good on. My boy, I must tell you most sincerely, I am happy. I am happy. Honestly, I draw most no bounds. But I told you she's going to come back. You said so? But, come to think of it. This world is such a small place. Tiola. It has care. It's so fantastical, my queen. Hmm. What do you think that a woman could abandon her three months old baby? This my imagination. To her conscience, I can't imagine the kind of stuffs people do because of materialism. Well, I'm glad that finally Diola is coming back to where she rightfully belongs. You can say that again. It's my joy. She's such a wonderful child. I'm so happy. God has a way of doing his own things. He in his wisdom brought Engineer Patrick your way. He made your path cross. Well, to God be the glory. I'm so happy. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> hey, Thelma, you won't believe what my ears had today. Mommy, what's going on? I talk to me. What's, what's going on? You sounded so tense on the phone. Hey, let me talk to me now. What's going Dorothy on? Dorothy is fake. Dorothy has been living a fake life all this while. <laughs> Mom, I don't understand what you're talking about. How? How? Fake? How? Finally, Nemesis has caught up with her. Let me talk to me now. What are you talking about? Talk to me. She is Matilda's mother. Hey! Mom, Matilda's mother. How? The same girl she hates so much. It's not possible. I heard she was once married. Mommy, Auntie Dorothy was once married. How? <laughs> no, Mommy, this can't be true. It's not... <sighs> Tell me. I heard she was once married to one king of Ozala Kingdom and abandoned him for Rufus. <laughs> Mommy, hold on. You mean Auntie Dorothy was married to king of Ozala Kingdom, Mommy, and nobody knew? Even me, I couldn't believe it. If not that your father called me from Ozala Kingdom and told me that she was once married to the king and left him for Rufus. Hey! Mommy, you mean Auntie Dorothy left a whole king of Ozala Kingdom for Rufus? Hey! 
Anyway, from the story I had, they said the man was very, very poor then, that he couldn't fend for Dorothy and her three months old baby. That was why she left the marriage for Rufus. Mommy, wait, 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 wait. You mean Auntie Dorothy left a three month old baby all because of wealth? The same man she left for Rufus is now the king of Ozala Kingdom. Hey! And the same baby is in her house as her house help now. That is the world for you. I heard that the king and his queen will be coming to Asaba by the weekend. Hey, to take Matilda of course. Of course! Ah, poor Matilda. Finally, I'm so happy for her. Huh. Love's gonna last forever. Nobody will hey. stay on top forever. Dorothy. Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. This is my wife, Dorothy, my daughter, Olivia, and my son, Emmanuel. Um, good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Olivia. Good afternoon, Ma. It's your man. Stand up, stand up. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, um, I'm sure you all know her. She's see Joma, member of our church. Yeah, she's here to work for us as our new housemaid. You, know, you all know that Matilda is already engaged to Prince Afunwa. And um, she ceases to be the housemaid, so she's taken over from her. Okay. <laughs> Rufus. Yes. You just spoke gibberish. What? How could you go out of your way to get this thing without consulting me first? Dorothy. Well, I don't know what your problem is, but. Uh... In case you have forgotten, I am the head of this family. And I don't need your consent to execute anything, any action I want to carry out in my house. Okay? <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> head! Well, since you've said that Matilda ceases to be the house made in this house anymore, her appointment has been terminated by my so-called husband. So, I want her to leave this house this minute before I do something silly. Mom, what? I can really shut up. She should leave the side of her way. Olivia, thank you. I am the owner of this house. Dorothy, this house belongs to me. And I decide whatever happens in the house. Yes. So Matilda stays until the prince comes to pay her bride price. Okay? <laughs> my word. Some people should just go and hide themselves. Honestly. Rufus. You should just go and hide yourself in a no meaning. You want to be father to 
to that daughter of a lunatic when you can't even father a child. Dorothy. Yes? What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. You bloody important. What? Did you just call me an impotent man? You heard me very much. An infertile. Oh, what? I will slap you. For marriage, you couldn't get me pregnant. 
so I decided to end the issue of our childlessness on my own decision. So. <gasps> I brought in, I brought in my lover, I brought in Jerry, whom I told you was my younger brother. We made love at virtually every corner of the house we were living in back then, including our, including our matrimonial bed. Before you could, you could say, Jack, I, I found out that I've missed my period. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs> I was expecting that to giggle you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Honey, where would you like us to spend our uh, enjoy our Valentine this year? Valentine this year. Yes. Um, you give me a little time to give you an answer. Oh, I I thought you already had a place in mind. I have many places in mind if you don't know. I have many places in my right. but I'm looking for the best. Okay. You can take all the time you want to look mm. for a better place for us to go to. Honey. Babe, are you alright? Are you all right? I've noticed you throwing up lately. I, I think you should go visit the doctor. Doctor? Yes. Huh. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm fine. It's probably something I ate that is turning my tummy, but I'm all right. I'll be fine. You, you, you keep saying you're fine. You keep saying you'll be all right, but I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried, you know, I married a beautiful woman. I should be worried about her health. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. I know. I know you'll be. Okay, bring your leg up here. <laughs> I told you I'll be fine. Well, that brings me to saying I insist you go visit our doctor. Let him run tests on you. I want to be certain what is wrong with you. I cannot rest until you're fine. Okay, I told you not to worry too much. But if you insist, I'll go see the doctor. Fine. Sounds better. Are you happy now? Of course. <laughs> Have a sip of this to okay. revitalize your system. Yeah, that's good. Thank and you. I am thinking I should drink from yours rather than... Oh, come on. It's my lovely woman. You cheat too much and I don't like Oh, it. baby, if I take your thing, you shouldn't be complaining. Cheesy. Honey! 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 Oh no! The Lord has done it! Honey, see! See, 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 open it! Oh my god! What is this about, baby? Honey, open it! What? I'm pregnant! Who could this be for real? I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be a father. Yes, or no, I'm going to be a father. Please come and sit down. Oh my god. Oh my Baby, god, I'm so what? happy. I know I am. I'm glad myself, okay? You know what this calls for celebration. Just sit here, let me go get us a bottle of champagne. Okay. Alright? I'll be back. Oh my god, oh my god. Hey, hey. It's 
But I found out that you were happy. I don't want to spoil your joy. And I, I did not want Jerry to find out what, what happened. So I pressurized you to do papers for Jerry to fly him abroad. I thought of it when I just thought of it. I don't want people to find out who you are. You are important. I really want to have your shame. Because I believe your shame. You lost all my shame. Sorry. You first please forgive me. All I've done was to protect your interest and your lineage. Sorry, please. Some noise, then I went to check what it was. Noise, you say? Huh? Um, noise, yes. I heard some noise. Um, some policemen, they were in the neighborhood. Yes, um, they were in the neighborhood to arrest someone. That cocaine dealer. Which cocaine dealer? The one next door. Oh, that's nuisance. Yes, so. Ha. They, you know, they went to his house to arrest him, but they did not even see him there. They, they know how to arrest the lady they saw in this house. Can hey, you imagine? Really? Yes. But, Oni, you shouldn't have gone out alone. You, you know, it's not safe to go out at night alone. You should have woken me up at least. Hmm? I should have gone with you. Yes, I know, but you said you were tired. So I didn't want to disturb. Let's go back to bed, alright? 
worried. Uh, are you okay, Ben? I was so just sorry. looking everywhere for you. So sorry. Well, let's sleep, okay? My sweet pie. A real fitness. I started pressurizing you every day. Send Jerry to US to better his life as my kid brother. Because I had wanted to cover what I did. I don't want it to be in the light. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to make you go all through that. I'm sorry I had to do all this under your nose. I'm sorry I couldn't get myself to tell you about the impotency. I did all that because of fear that if Jerry finds out, he might start making troubles of our babies. about what I told you concerning my brother Jerry. Dorothy, please don't start. Sweetheart, please. It's better than staying here doing nothing. Let him go out there and find something doing for himself, please. Dorothy, your brother is a graduate. Let him go out there and search for job. I know. He has done that already and he did not succeed. You know there is no job in this country. Who says so? Who said there's no job in this country, Dorothy? Look, if he can get a job, let him create one. He can become an entrepreneur for crying out loud. Look, there is no tree a brother produces money. Listen, people abroad work for every money they earn. Please, don't mind those youths that travel abroad with drugs. The moment they are caught, they get killed. That is because I am a real man, not a weakling. Mm -hmm. Look at him boast. <laughs> am I lying? Um, no. <laughs> ah. Come to think of it, <laughs> that with force of a man is a fool. Jerry, did you just call a man to stay in his house, eat his food? and drive his cars foolish. It is only a foolish man that will live under the same roof with a man 
Who is sleeping with his wife without him knowing? Jerry, in as much as I enjoy your services, I will not tolerate you insult my husband in any way. Don't do that. I've heard you, Ma. But Dorothy, your husband is rich. Why are you being so stingy? Satan will let me leave this house. Satan will let me live here in peace. Because I am not going to leave this house without being settled. He has to pay me for doing what he cannot do. Which is? Servicing you, of course. <laughs> Jerry, you are very stupid. I know. You are linguists and idiots. Look at you. Hey. I must do well to hey. convince him to take me out of this country. Else. Else what? I will talk. What? I will expose our illicit affair. I will make him understand the kind of lifestyle his loving wife is living with her so-called brother. That's my husband. Is that a royal cuteness? <laughs> the princess of my life. Welcome, honey. Welcome back. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I've missed you. Yeah, I know. Hmm. How was it then? Well, I, I had a hectic day at work. Oh, I'm sorry. What I need now is warm bath and mm -hmm. good rest. Okay. Okay. You go do that. Hmm. I have a surprise for you. You do? I love the sound of that. I made your favorite. Woo! <laughs> Before we go there. Come, let's go. You go fresh now. Come on, we start. Let's just come there. Tell your brother Jerry to present his passport to me first thing tomorrow morning before I leave the house. His passport? Yes, wait, his wait, passport. Wait. Honey, you're not joking, right? Oh, come on, I'm not joking. You're not joking. You've been pressuring me to send your brother abroad, and I'm ready to send him abroad. <laughs> Anything for you, of course I do. Oh <laughs> Anything for you, Olivia. You're such a dad. Can I go now? Fine. <laughs> fix your meal. It's all right. Please let me go with this one while you prepare my food. Okay? Done. I've been waiting for my favorite. Done. <laughs> Can, can you see the difference? I can understand. In the video, I mean. Mm. So this hairstyle, which one do you like? I'll say I prefer the former one. It makes him look more unique. You can see it. What? No, <laughs> he, I think I like this one better. You say you're politely disagree with me, right? You had your own opinion. <laughs> I just said mine. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's fine. Uh, sweetness, can you please call your brother? Jerry! Jerry! Yes? Yes, good evening, Jerry. Yeah, you're welcome, Jerry. Thank you. Good evening. Sister, you called me. 
Oh yes, my husband called you. Uh, yeah, Jerry. I got your traveling documents. Of course, you can have it. It's yours. It was yours. They are your traveling documents. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, my God, you continue to bless you. My God, you continue to bless your family. Your business will continue to grow. Enjoy. Hi, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Wow. Yes. Hey. Thank you so much, honey. That's okay. Anything for you, of course. Okay. And you, Jerry. Sir. Yes. It's all right, Jerry. Um, remember something. Over there, you meet the good, the bad, and the ugly. I trust you'll be a good boy, right? Sure, I will. I, I promise to be the good boy I have always been. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And one more thing. When you travel over there, please do not forget your family. Okay? That's very important. Sure, I will not. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Both emotionally and psychologically ready for this trip. He's been pining over this for a very long time. It's obvious. Come on, baby. Thank you so much. We've accomplished one thing together. <laughs> Two years after I gave birth to Olivia, I couldn't get pregnant. And Jerry was long gone to the United States of America. I brought in Maswell, another boyfriend of mine. Maswell. I used Maswell to get pregnant for for Emmanuel. I told you he was my cousin. Maswell is Emmanuel's father. But that was all for you. Vanity, vanity, sorry. Such a vanity. It's our vanity, vanity. Infidelity, infidelity. It's such a vanity. You fooled me. You've been fooling me all this while. Today is your last day in this house. Now, get out of this house before I blow your head off. Zaki! Zaki! Go upstairs with her, get her face, and let her get out of my house this minute. Now! Now it's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. Evil to come in here again. Is that understood? Let me take my car. 
Sweet Kathy, the one that you brought from your father's house. Will you stop begging? Hey, let me let me let me go. 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 Let Proud woman, be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. Oh, oh, oh. Wild woman, be careful what you do. Be careful what you do right now. Tomorrow's gonna come. Engineer Patrick, Chief Rufus, what brings you here? This is Igwe Joseph Omeka Naya, the king of Osala Kingdom. <clears throat> He's here to see his daughter, Matleda. Really? Yes. His daughter Matilda? Exactly. But they said Matilda is an orphan. How come her father is a king? Well, that's what we are meant to believe. But uh, after hearing his story, I decided to bring him here. He was married to Dorothy when he was nobody. He just left the uh, University of Lagos as an accountant then. He was working with a friend. And uh, when he lost his job, he could not fend for his wife and uh, the newborn baby, Diola. Mom, who is Diola? Mom, who is Diola? <laughs> what is going on here? Mom! Diola. Mom, you're confusing me. Who is Diola? Ah, Diola! Mom? your three months old baby and run away to marry dad? Jojo Amani Are you Joseph? Um, Chief Rufus I know he did not recognize me. So, how come you are now a king? Well, yes. A lot happened after my former wife Dorothy here abandoned my three months old baby Diola and ran away. Dorothy? I never knew she was married, let alone having a child? What have you done, Dorothy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh! 
remains my daughter any time, any day. The people of our ancient kingdom await your return. She was three months old and ran off to marry Rufus. Ha! My good friend, Igwe Joseph, on behalf of my son, Prince Afumwa Elotanma, the Crown Prince of Okuzo Land, may I seek your permission? 
to announce to this household that will be coming in three days time for the formal introduction and wine carrying.